and please welcome Dr. Michael Nierenberg. Thanks, Thank Doctor, you. for coming in. So, Thank you for having me. Okay, why is this book different than all the other diet books? Well, I think this book is different because it's for real people leading real lives. Uh, there's not a lot of negative energy, a lot of a lot of things you can't do. It allows you to eat normal food during a normal day, just less of it, and lose weight. So you're talking like if I have hamburgers for lunch, I could still eat that? Right. Basically, what you need to do is just leave a couple bites behind. For instance, if you had a hamburger every day uh -huh. and you left two bites behind, you'd weigh about 25 pounds less in two years. <gasps> wow. Still eating your hamburger. That's easy. And then there was some, you said there's some other things we could cut out easily, like uh, on sandwiches. Right. One of my favorites is if you eat a sandwich every day and you just took the top piece of bread off and then combined it into sort of a double decker, again, you'd lose eight to 10 pounds a year. Oh just doing that. And that's what I say. I mean, there are a lot of diets, and this is really not a diet. It's just a way of approaching your food. There are a lot of diets that say, well, you can't have a burger. You can't have a hamburger. You can't have white food. There are no can'ts. It's just you have what you enjoy, just a little less of it. Yeah, because yeah. I, I like I'm, I'm the guy. You know yeah. what? I'm the guy. We, we I'm the guy that's eat. Yeah, I love to eat. I mean, I come from an Italian family. Every Sunday, we're sitting around, you know, all the, the big plate of pasta, and then you've got your meatballs and sausage and everything, and that's the appetizer. So right. yeah, then you move on right. from there. Right. So, but I've become the guy, God knows because of the profession that I'm in, um, I've become the guy that takes the bagel, love bagels, right. but I'm like, I'm not going to put down the bagel. I dig out the center of it. I'll still toast it. I'll still put a little bit of butter on it so that I can still have it. Absolutely. I mean, is that something I'm, or am I sort of denying myself of that? That's, that's the, the thing that I always wonder about that. It's like, oh, you're denying yourself the actual bagel. No, I mean, that's really the approach because 100 calories a day that you cut off, just 100 a day is mm -hmm. 10 pounds a year. Right. So again, if you're, every little bit, if you have, for instance, four M&Ms a day above and beyond what you'd normally eat, that's two pounds in a year. Oh so gosh. anything you do in the opposite direction, taking off from the top, like mm -hmm. the inside of the bagel, is absolutely correct. Right. What inspired you to write this book? Because I know you never had plans to write one. Right. You know? <laughs> Well, I think what it was was watching patients struggle with their weight for 30 years and nobody winning, and there's statistics to prove nobody wins, made me realize that there were too many solutions that really weren't solutions. So what I wanted to do was come up with something that was basic and simple, went back to principles that everybody could follow during a normal, during a normal day with their normal food. Mm -hmm. And in that way, I was able to talk to people and they were able to follow this. You had a story about one man though that kind of ch you know right. changed everything. This is, and I'll probably know who he is if he hears the story. Perfect, somebody came in, they needed to lose weight, they were overweight, hypertensive. And I said, okay, well, we're gonna set a goal. I want you to lose four ounces a week. And four he, ounces? Four wow. ounces, that's all. Four ounces, and he laughed. He said, oh, come on, doc, give me something to do. I said, no, that's all I want you to start with. This is someone who'd never lost any weight. So I said, you're going to come back in a month a pound lighter. He said, oh, come on, let's, let's move it up. No, he said, uh, that's fine. If you can do more, I want a pound. So I said, he said, well, that's nothing. I said, fine. So in two years, you're going to come back 25 pounds lighter. He said, I can't do that. I said, wait a second. That's what you just did. A yeah. quarter of a pound a week, four ounces, one pound a month, 25 pounds in two years. He got it. And after that, he was able to lose weight. Wow, that's so you're amazing. Changing, you're literally changing your to a certain extent, you're changing your way of thinking and how you're dealing with your food, right? Exactly. That's what it is. It isn't a diet. It's a way of approaching your food right. so that you don't deny yourself. You just eat slightly less of what you really enjoy. As a matter of mm -hmm. fact, I always say to eat even better food, but less of it. Oh, right. Don't waste good. it on cheese that's, you know, just, well, we won't mention the name, but you know what we're talking about. And just yeah. sit down and eat a smaller amount, perhaps, of a better cheese. Right. Okay. What if you eat out a lot? Um, we saw, I think you guys saw it too on the show yesterday, yes. I eat a lot of junk, <laughs> I go out to restaurants a lot, I mean, mm. what do I do if I go to the restaurants all the time? Well, I think there are two things. Number one, it would be better if you didn't. Okay. Restaurants are difficult to eat in. There are a lot of calories. Their job is to make you happy, bring plenty of food, leave bread on the table, mm -hmm. uh -huh. etc. Though, by the same token, I do want people to go out occasionally and enjoy themselves, because then during the week, you can be a little more rigorous with what you're doing. But given that you're going to eat out, make some choices. I mean, a lot of them people know, but you don't think about, get the dressing on the side, pick the lower <coughs> calorie entrees, mm -hmm. split an entree with a friend if you're with someone, or again, do the same thing. If you get the sandwich, take the top piece of bread off. Apple pie for dessert, fine, leave it, leave the ice cream on the side and don't get it a la mode. Yeah, if the whole meal is like the size of a manhole cover, you don't have to finish exactly. it. Exactly. <laughs> you know? And the other thing but is... it's all in front of you. <laughs> well, but the other thing is there, there are ways coma. of doing that. 
One of the things is you can actually have them bring your doggy bag or whatever first, <gasps> divide the food up then, and set it aside. Oh, that's a good that idea. Is that great. way it's not even in front of you. You don't have to deal with it. Okay, well, what about exercise? What's your advice on that? I think exercise needs to be dealt with the same way your food is. You should lose weight an ounce at a time, and you should exercise a minute at a time. And by that, people say you need to exercise an hour a day, an hour and a half a day. That's daunting yeah. for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. If you take it in small steps, 10 minutes a day is a little more than an hour a week. Right. Okay? So an hour a week is 50 hours a year, just 10 minutes a day. If you walk, if you, for instance, go to high school, and walk around the track once a day quarter in a, of a year, mile. right, a quarter of a mile, in a year, that would be three and a half marathons or 9,000 calories, just walking around a track once a day. So baby don't, steps. Baby steps, baby exactly. Steps. Repeated over and over. It works, you know, compounding interest in the bank. It's the spare change under the, the sofa cushion that you're looking for. The few calories here, the few calories. Same thing with exercise, a few steps here few steps there. You're fabulous. You yeah. have to stay. We need more tips. Yeah. More with Dr. Nirenberg. One bite at a time. The power of the bite when we come back.